Hey everyone, Mr. Gray through IS here, and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a little bit since I've recorded a video, uh, but I've been a little busy. I got some cool things in the works. Uh, I might be making fog lights in order to sell. I don't know, who knows? Pay attention to my Instagram and uh, you'll see some more info about that. And you guys might be able to notice from my shadow right here, I am using a gimbal. Uh, I just got a DJI LM5 and uh, from here on out this is what I'm going to be filming my videos with. It should help with camera stability and uh, panning and if you check out my TikTok and Instagram you'll see I've already filmed some reels with it. It's super smooth. Um, so yeah, this should up my production quality a little bit. What is new? I have hit 5,000 subscribers on Instagram. Holy crow, that is crazy. Thank you to all of you from YouTube that are following me on Instagram. Thank you for all your support. And on YouTube, I am almost at 1,900 subscribers. That is crazy. We are so close to 2,000. I'm thinking about maybe doing some sort of giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of that idea. But yeah, let's get to today's video. What you guys have all clicked on this video for. These are, in my opinion, the best Lexus interior mods. I've done a couple mod lists and uh, best mod videos, but I wanna make one solely for the interior. Uh, I'm going to, as usual, leave links for everything in the description. As I'm talking about an item, if I have a discount code for it, I'll let you know. Um, if I don't, then I'm sorry. But I'm going to include uh, what I think is the best, whether I have a code for it or not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and open the door up and welcome to my interior. Yeah, so here we are. One of my most recent modification videos is this beautiful airbag cover. Whether you're doing a carbon emblem, an OEM emblem, gloss black, you're doing stitching to match your paint color, you're doing stitching to match your interior stitching, it's just a great modification to any Lexus in my opinion. Uh, the interior quality of Lexus is amazing and getting an airbag cover to match that quality even if your entire interior stock is a great modification in my opinion. Uh, and I'll have the link for it in the description. It's from Tencel Works. Uh, and you can use code gray through is to get 10% off of anything from Tencel Works. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind if you like an airbag cover. They're fairly easy to install. I made a YouTube video uh, not too long ago on how to install it. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but that video should do a pretty good job at explaining what all needs to be done to get this on there. Next up, which is fairly close to this airbag cover, is this steering wheel. Oh my gosh. The steering wheel changed the driving feel entirely. Unlike the OEM one, there's a lot of curves and parts of the steering wheel for your hand to sit nicely in, along with these thumb grips right there for you to place your thumb right in, uh, and the flat bottom. So when you're hitting the corners, you kind of know where's top, where's bottom. Uh, it's just a great modification. And if you like driving your car hard on some back roads sometimes, the shift lights are pretty convenient for you to be able to see when to shift and uh, have some vital information right there so you don't have to look all the way down, but it's just right in the line of sight. This steering wheel here is from a guy local to me called Zen Carbon Fiber. Uh, but Tensil Works does also offer the same types of steering wheels along with the steering wheel trim. It is a great look if you're going to get the steering wheel. It kind of completes this whole area. But Tensil Works offers these trims and this steering wheel on their website as well. And you can use code gray through is to get 10% off of that. And in the theme of driving feel are these beautiful aluminum RCF paddles. Not only are the paddles a little wider, clickier, and aluminum, <laughs> uh, they improve the driving feel so much. When you're ripping through them corners, having a little bit of an extended paddle is a great feeling. And if you're into the OEM Plus look, these are a great 
choice for any Lexus. They are from the RCF and GSF and they are plug and play. I also made a video on how to install these. Fairly simple, you don't even have to take off the steering wheel. And keep in mind, you touch these things every time you drive. So investing in something nice for this area of the car is not a bad idea. And I definitely recommend these RCF paddles. Uh, I'll link them in the description and you can also use code GRAY3IS to save some money on them at checkout. Next up, speaking of something you touch every time you drive, this carbon fiber stitched shift knob. It is beautiful and it matches all the rest of the interior stitching. And it is a great addition for if you have any other carbon fiber in your interior. Tansel Works offers these shift knobs. It is a beautiful addition and I definitely recommend a stitched perforated shift knob for any Lexus interior. Like I said, regarding the airbag cover, it just adds to the premium look of these already nice looking Lexus interiors. And a little bit of extra matching stitching never hurts. Next up, you hop in to start the car. What do you press? Your start stop button. And I have this beautiful premium start stop button. It is slightly different than the OEM one that comes with most Lexus. This one isn't convex like the original start stop button, but if you can tell, it is actually concave. And in addition to it being concave, it is nice and aluminum, like the paddle shifters, and unlike the original plastic start stop button. This one is also fairly easy to install. I made a video about it. Dang, I'm pretty good about making these videos about how to install stuff. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but it's fairly easy. You just pull this area off and unplug it and plug it right in. It's plug and play. You can get it from the same website that uh, these paddles are on, and I'll link it in the description. It is a beautiful addition to any interior, and it's really the subtle stuff that counts. I really enjoyed the feel of this. I didn't think that I would notice it too much when I was thinking about getting it, but after I had it installed and used it for a couple weeks, it, it made me smile every time I pushed it. I was like, oh man, this is nice and premium. I'm a sucker for those small little premium details. Now, one modification, which in one of my videos I mentioned this and someone told me in the comments it was not a modification. I was like, all right, man, whatever you say. But that is tint and not just any type of tint, ceramic tint. This especially helps if you live in the state of Texas or anywhere in the south where it gets super sunny and hot pretty much all throughout the year. Um, but ceramic tint is amazing for keeping heat out. It is great for heat rejection. Not only is ceramic tint nice for heat rejection, but it's usually more of a quality tint than just your dyed film. And with quality tint comes quality function. As you can see with this window right here, you can pretty much see out of it just as you could with no tint at all. And when you go to look into it, it's fairly dark. This is a 20% film here, and I can show you what it looks like with the rear. This is a 5% film. As you can see, this is the difference. And this is what it looks like when you're looking in. Oh, don't mind the dust. <laughs> uh, but yes, quality ceramic tint is a great modification to any vehicle. I just recently got my windshield um, ceramic tinted. Windshield is something that's really overlooked on many people's vehicles. It's very flat and sloping with the curve of the roof. So when you park it, even if you put up that little sunshade, it lets in a lot of heat from the sunlight. Even if you put a clear ceramic film on there, it's gonna do wonders compared to no film at all. And in my opinion, it is worth the investment. It's really not too pricey. And if you go to a reputable shop, You'll just have it done once and never again. A great modification to any vehicle. And if you don't think it's a modification, I'm sorry, then it's just a great thing to do to any vehicle. And this is pretty much what I believe are the best mods that you can do to an interior of a Lexus. Thankfully, the Lexus interiors are pretty nice, pretty spot on as they come from the factory. So these things are just cherries on top of cakes. And one honorable mention, all weather floor mats, Guys, these are a great idea. Take them out, spray them off with your pressure washer, scrub them down and put them right back in. They're way easier to clean than carpet ones. They have little edges on them. These are the OEM all weather ones from Lexus. They're pretty cool looking too. Um, those are also a great mod to do for your interior. Great little change, um, a little honorable mention. Whether you're driving an NX to an RC, I think these are the best 
interior modifications. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And check out my Instagram if you haven't already. It's gray underscore 3 is um, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Your support means the world to me. And this is such a cool thing, being able to make videos and chat with you guys. Really amazing. I appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said, if you want to check out my Instagram, I'm going to be making and selling these fog lights soon. Uh, so let me know if you're interested. Uh, these tensile work DRLs that I installed last video, they're holding up great, still working perfectly. Uh, I really recommend them. They're pretty cool and they're super bright. Other than that, this has been Mr. Gray 3IS and I'll see you in the next one.